really, you know, not to go back because we are where we are, but we all know it was the wrong reorganisation. We should have invested that money in reorganising community and primary care, working towards integration, looking at how we can uh, simplify the contracting arrangements. Now, what's happening on the ground, and I think you're hearing evidence from Mark afterwards, is some CCGs are doing really well uh, and are actually moving things, but they were probably doing really well before. Some are doing very badly, and the GPs don't want to go be on CCGs because it's too much work, it's not what their heart's in. Where I would say, Polly and others, is where there is a, a sort of green shoots of hope is that we are getting conversations. GPs are talking to hospital doctors, local authorities, health and wellbeing board. We are starting to communicate urgently with others to see if we can find a solution. With respect to the contractual, I mean, there's somebody now leads NHS London transformation. Yeah, it's so difficult finding all sorts of people to talk to uh, because you have to find 32 to talk to as opposed to seven or eight. I think it will consolidate. CCGs can't stay as this size, they have to consolidate and get themselves economies of scale. Uh, we need to look at, around the competition laws and how the competition laws, and I think Monitor have to do that pretty urgently because you can't have every single contract being appealed and delays and uh, etc. So, you know, it's, uh, it's difficult. On the question of uh, CC